So this Photoshop tutorial is only a sample video showing you bits and pieces of the entire tutorial that you can locate on masterflash.net uh, where you can find source files and the entire tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this roll out for a little bit. Working with grids. All right. I'm going to show you how to create somewhat of a 3D grid. Uh, what we've got here is in the source files, I've got some uh, images that you can use if you want to uh, work along with this. But um, what I'm going to do for right now is I'm just going to click and drag these in here. All right. And kind of walk through this. This is a uh, company I did a small project for. And really, they just wanted something simple, something with the grid lines that extended up beyond the norm up here, just to kind of give it that little... Uh, you know, structure, structural engineer feel to how, you know, they go about drawing up their, uh, their sketches and, and plans and all that good stuff. So, uh, it's what I'm going to show you how to do, but instead of having it go up here, cause that's real easy and I'll kind of show you how I'm actually going to show you how to formulate this. So it kind of wraps around this with the grid lines and, uh, what we'll end up doing is making the image disappear from top to bottom. All right. Just to kind of create a little bit better and a little bit cooler of a look. All right, so to start this off, I'm just going to go ahead and file new 1,600, 300 DPI. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, I'm going to bring this up to uh, 90%. Obviously, you're probably working full screen here. And the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and change this background color. And I'm going to set this to black. So I'm just going to hit Shift, Backspace, come in here, grab black, hit OK. All right, and I'm going to add another layer on here. And uh, while we're just kind of in idle here, I'm going to go ahead and drag these into our, our rip main file here. All right, get rid of that. And I'm going to pull this logo out, drop this in here. Huh. It's not very cool. I'm going to come up here to file, place, and I'm just going to kind of dig this one out. Where is it? There we go. Scale it down to size. I'm going to go ahead and grab this and drop it down here in the corner for now and get rid of it. All right. For this uh, other big image up here, I'm just going to hit control T. Come on in here to drag this up, scale it. All right. I'm going to scale this up to size, accept that. I'm just going to kind of slide this over to the right until this uh, bottom corner over here is just about on this line. All right. So the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and create the grids for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on, a, add on another layer. All right, come up here to filter, vanishing point, okay, which allows us to kind of work in here. Now what I would do is I would go ahead and scale your grid size down some. All right, probably put punch this on 30 and uh, work with that. So with that at 30, what I'm going to do is really, you know, in the project they wanted me to do, they wanted this extending up, and obviously they're working on a little bit bigger scale than we are for uh, image size and things, but what they wanted was they wanted this to come up top as opposed to, you know, rounding off down here. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I'm going to click right here, drag this all the way down. All right. Click here and over here. I'm just going to kind of bring this to this corner point over here and we'll play around with fixing that up in a little bit. All right. So also, what I want to do is kind of fill this area, this little dark shaded area, the side of the building, and then the other area also. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control, put my mouse over this, click and drag. And it allows us to, you know, create another little fill in here. All right. So once you're done with that, let it go. And then we need to fill this one up over here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here, and drag this out again. And obviously this extends up a little bit. So while this is still selected, you can kind of click and drag this and bring it to scale. All right. And we'll be able to play around with that a little bit more. All right. So we can go ahead and render these grid lines out to Photoshop. Now, I'm trying to remember how uh, CS3 worked with this. You may have been able to hit either Control or Alt or Option, one of those three, and uh, hit Select com or hit OK. All right, I'm trying to remember if this uh, render to grids to Photoshop was there. If it is, go ahead and select it. If not, you know, just try one of those three options and select OK, and you should be able to render them to uh, your layer. So I'm just going to hit Render Grids, hit OK. All right, and obviously we're looking at our image here with the uh, grids here. So what we need to do is we need to fix this up a little bit. And to kind of make this stick out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my color picker out. I'm going to select Red. 
all right and to change the grid colors on the active layer I'm just gonna hit shift alt backspace okay and once we do that I'm gonna come up here to edit transform warp all right and what we need to do is we kind of need to drag this upwards I don't know why they're not showing up anymore I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit Let's see how that looks yeah I don't know why that disappeared I'm just gonna do that again all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this downwards all right and I'm gonna drag this in not letting me play with it how I want but I can work with it like that because we can just scale this up just a little bit just like that and you've got the kind of bend in here that you need and what we can do since it's off to the right over here a little bit I'm just gonna kind of that is the end of this sample Photoshop tutorial to view the entire tutorial and get your hands on source files head towards masterflash.net hope you enjoy it